ग्रे टेंथ इंग्लिश द मेकिंग ऑफ साइंटिस्ट बाय रॉबर्ट डब्ल्यू पेट्रिसन क्यूरियसिटी एंड मोटिवेशन आर बेसिक फाउंडेशन फॉर बिकमिंग अ सक्सेसफुल साइंटिस्ट इट इज़ द अर्ज टू नो मोर दैट डेवलप साइंटिफिक एप्टीट्यूड सो इन दिस चैप्टर विल रीड अबाउट थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू हाउ टू बिकम अ गुड साइंटिस्ट and uh, one cannot be rational well informed person if one does not have curiosity to know more okay and uh, this is an article the making of scientist uh, of a curious child channelizing his curiosity to become a scientist and uh, richard abright richard h abright is one of the leading scientist okay uh, this uh, is a story of a young and abright scientist named richard h abright he grew up north of reading and at the age of 24 he excited the uh, scientific world with his theory of cells as a ch- uh, child he collected rocks uh, fossils and coins a great uh, driving force in making of him as a scientist always encouraged him and developed his interest in learning took him on trips uh, bought him telescope microscope cameras mounting materials etc got him the book the travel of a uh, monarch 10 uh, which opened a new world for him uh, now the role of his mother he was her whole life after his father's death only companion she would find work for him that will make him learn new things if does not have any some day he liked it and wanted to learn too early childhood talent let's talk about uh, by the time he was in second grade he had collected all the 25 species of the butterflies found around his home town in 6 weeks means we are uh, talking about his uh, boyhood hobbies etc means he started collecting them and uh, uh, early at the earlier age he started with collection of rocks fossils and coins and thereafter he started with in the grade second he st- uh, started collecting 25 species of butterflies from around the hometown and now uh, the book is about uh how butterflies migrate to central america means in the travel of monarch 10 it's all about how butterflies migrated to central america it was written by dr frederick yoghurt of university of toronto canada readers were invited to help study butterfly migration he also asked reader to tag them for research this book opened a world of science to this young collector now about uh, the travel of monarch 10 only but it was impossible to catch so many of them in 6 weeks so he started raising a flock of butterflies in the basement of his house he would catch a female monarch take her eggs and raise them means uh, totally about the life cycle of uh, how uh, means he decided to raise a flock of butterflies and uh, what he did he used to catch them he used to raise them and uh, from uh, egg to caterpillar to caterpillar to pupa to adult butterfly then he would tag the butterfly wings and let them go uh, now experience in the science fair now he went to science fair abright began to lose interest in tagging butterflies because there was no feedback by that time abright reached the 7th grade he got busy with other scientific experiment he participated in country science fair with slides of frog tissues but he did not win any prize so he decided to do further research on insects now uh, he wrote to dr yoghurt uh you got for ideas and got many suggestions for experiments he kept on working on them throughout his high school which led him to uh, uh, many prizes project on national and international level in 8th class he found out the cause of a viral disease that killed all monarch uh, caterpillars he raised them in presence of beetles now why wisery butterflies copy monarch means he was uh, like complete research was on insect hormones or else like uh, complete uh, things were related to these things only and they were food of birds wisery's taste good uh, whereas monarch do not taste good for birds the wisery's uh, look like monarch because they want to trick the birds and save themselves this project was placed first in zoology division now uh, a bright theory on uh, cell life 
while seeing the x-ray photos of the chemical structure of cells abright got the idea of his new theory about cell life he found a possible answer to the puzzle how the cell can read the blueprint of its dna abright and his uh, college mate um, uh, james r found or uh, james r wrong wong Uh, drew pictures and constructed plastic models of molecules to show how it uh, could happen now about his further uh, achievement in his senior year he grew cells from a monarch wing in a culture and showed that the cell would divide and develop into normal butterfly wing scales only if they were fed the hormones from gold spots this project won, uh, won him the first place for zoology as the international uh, fair even uh, now uh, x ray photos of chemical structure of a hormone he studied the photos of chemical structure of a hormone in x ray this photos uh, sold his doubt on dna he determined that the dna is the substance in the nucleus that controls hereditary so dna was established as the blueprint of life this complete uh, theory was based on cell now and uh, the making of a scientist uh, like richard abright became a scientist because he had a driving curiosity along with a bright mind he started his journey from collecting of butterflies this led him to discover the theory of uh, life cells then uh, he was just uh, not interested in science he took interest in other activities too uh, these are uh, many qualities and that going to making of scientist he was curious dedicated and hard working he was competitive but not in a bad sense he had a will to win he was intelligent and worked for the right reason he didn't run after prizes these point could be written in his character sketch so this image uh, depicts about the butterfly collecting season about reading last uh, which only lasted for 6 weeks in the late summer and abright realized about complete things he started tagging them he used to like he decided to raise a flock of butterflies then he would catch a female monarch then take her eggs raise them in the basement and then he would tag butterflies wing and let them go so this was all about uh, tagging the butterflies thereafter he lost some interest in those also now this image is about the travel of monarch 10 the book uh, which proved to be the turning point and it was presented to abright by his mother it described how monarch butterflies migrated to central america and this was the book that fascinated him and at the end of the book readers were invited to help study butterfly migrations and uh, this is all about this book was all about the same things so in this chapter we got to know that curiosity and motivation are the basic foundation for becoming a successful uh, scientist thank you